Your six day per week training split is complete and utter bullshit. Okay, now I'm gonna make that evidently, abundantly crystal clear. However, before I do that, I want you to ask yourself, why do you exercise? Why do you work out? Why do you train? Some people, they work out for vitality, longevity, the youthful exuberance training gives you. Others, they train for confidence. The confidence to speak to girls. The confidence to be imposing. The confidence to walk tall and carry an aura that deters threats. And the confidence to know that you're being listened to when you speak and to carry that something that not everyone can quite put their finger on, but you know that everyone wants. The point I'm making is you don't train for training's sake, okay? You train to level up. Exercise, diet, changing the way we look. It's a topic that we love and that we embellish, but it's its one factor of a multi-factorial complicated equation. Yes, level up your fitness game, absolutely. But level up your whole game, your work, your study, your well-being, that thing that makes you the indubitable force that you know you are, okay? So, how does this link back to training? Well, we all know that I am an advocate for fitness, right? It's no secret that I am a believer that fitness is one of the most powerful mechanisms to level up your entire game. However, I do not need to convince you that endeavoring to explore every mechanism is going to be more effective than honing in on just one. For example, let's look at it from an aesthetics perspective, okay? Vitality, longevity, very important, okay, I get it. But the confidence, the exuberance, the imposing aura that ensures you are listened to every time you open your damn mouth, okay, that comes from the way you look and the way you carry yourself. If you're someone who doesn't focus on aesthetics and you're not someone who, you know, carries himself with pride and, and, and you know, takes care of themselves. I don't know why I'm trying to sugarcoat this to be honest, but if you are, a fat piece of shit, no one is going to buy what you're selling. Now that's harsh, okay? That is disgustingly harsh to the point where like, I almost feel vulnerable, like even just saying that, like fear of getting cancelled type of thing. And yes, it's harsh, of course it's harsh, no one wants to hear that, but it, it is, that's exactly what it is, it's a, it's a harsh reality. Now I'm going to guide you through an ultimatum, okay? Matrix style, all right? Red pill, blue pill. Take the red pill and it gives you 95% of your theoretical maximum potential, okay? 95% of your possible vitality, your possible longevity, your maximum size gains and improved aesthetics, all right? Or you take the blue pill, which gives you 95% of your theoretical maximum vitality, longevity, improved size gains, and aesthetics. However, you get to do it in half the time. So which one are you picking, right? Like, I know which one I'm picking. The one with the coffee in it. Okay, so that ultimatum, that scenario, I've just given you the whole red pill, blue pill. That is legitimately the scenario you are currently faced with. Your six day per week training program, right? Like it, it probably works quite well. Like it does, right? Six day per week training program, bro split, push pull legs, whatever you're doing, chances are it works quite well. However, as a natural lifter, as someone who's not going out in the sun and microwaving their balls out there for three hours at a time and you know injecting horse growth hormone, I would honestly argue that three days a week training is probably as good if not better. And look, obviously if you're if you're someone who, you know, enjoys a little bit of testosterone on their toast, <laughs> that this may not be the right advice for you, okay? Because you're you know, physiologically different, aren't you? You're a bit gifted, son. You're a bit you're a bit cheeky. But for us Netty Kings who are playing it by the book, you know, who, you know, aren't injecting decker into our pancakes, alright, we literally we do not have the ability to recover quick enough. That exogenous assistance that helps physiologically enhance people recover from training five, six times a week, <laughs> we don't have it. When you lift weights, what you're doing is you're essentially creating micro muscle tears within the muscle, okay? 
These grow back stronger and is what leads to muscle hypertrophy. These minor micro tears in the muscle, the minor muscle damage, takes minimum 48, but ideally 72 hours to recover fully. However, your central nervous system, your CNS, which is primarily responsible for strength, okay? Which, as we know, is the primary determinant in your ability to progressively overload, which, as we know, is the main factor which leads to hypertrophy, takes a minimum of 48 hours to recover. So even if you have a training split, it's well thought out, push-pull legs, where you're working a set of muscles while the other group of muscles are resting, your CNS, which again, the main factor in your ability to push your strength to the next level, achieve that progressive overload, and therefore maximize that hypertrophy, is fried. So my advice is train three days a week, okay? Two upper body sessions, one lower body session. Focus on getting strong at the key compound lifts, okay? For a Spartan level physique, shoulders, back, quads, standing barbell overhead press, weighted pull-ups, barbell back squat. Two, two hard as fuck sets per exercise. 45 minutes, get the fuck out of there. And the extra time that you're gonna get from training three days a week, and the extra energy, focus, optimal levels of concentration you're gonna have, use it to level the fuck up. Level up your well-being, level up your sleep, level up your dopamine optimization, level up your side hustle, level up your work. All right, my philosophy is about balance. Level up in the gym, yes, absolutely. But enjoy your life, man. Like, enjoy it. We're only here for so long. Time is a finite resource. So every single day, make time for what is important. Use this minimalistic approach to maximize time, the invaluable resource. And you can do that, okay? Like, you can literally do that through this minimalistic approach, making time for what's important. Family, friends, work business. If you now want to make time for it while still focusing on leveling up yourself, your vitality, your longevity, your confidence, that indubitable aura that makes people look at you when you walk into a room, you can do it, okay? It's at your fingertips. So, if you want to level up, okay, I will teach you how to do it. Subscribe to me and I'll see you in a future video. Adios.